once again just five minutes before the end of the lesson okay so let's start uh, let me uh, first revise or recap the contents which we took, which we took in our last lesson and then she'll uh, complete the rest of the topic we were discussing uh, photosynthesis in detail which was chapter 4.3 uh, we also discuss a verse from the quran which is related to this topic the objectives for this topic are to describe the light dependent reactions in which energy is captured and uh, to describe the light independent reactions in which sugar is produced uh, all right so on this topic we uh, discussed how uh, photosynthesis, photosynthesis it requires a series of chemical reactions uh, can someone uh, would someone like to summarize the contents which we discussed in the in the last lesson you know yeah go ahead lee okay so we were talking about the photosystems including photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 mm -hmm. and um you also mentioned that the photosystems like 1 and 2 are named based on when they were discovered which means that photosystem 2 can occur before photosystem 1 mm -hmm. so in photosystem 2 the uh, chlorophyll or the light absorbing molecules absorb sunlight the energy from sunlight and then um, that causes the electrons to become energized so the energized electrons move to the um, electron transport chain mm -hmm. and then water molecules are broken down by enzymes and the electrons produced from the water molecules replace the electrons which left the um, chlorophyll in the beginning. Uh, and then the electrons that are in the electron transport chain, they uh, pump hydrogen gas from outside to inside the thylakoid membrane. Um, and then uh, the energy is used to uh, form ATP and NADPH. Okay. Um, and the, uh, yeah. Can you please input invoice or Zen? Yeah, sure. That's it. Did she join? Okay, go ahead, Lee. Um, yeah, and the last thing is that uh, ATP is produced by the energy and uh, a protein called ATP synthase. An enzyme. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. Okay, great. Uh, yes, that was pretty much it. Thank you so much, Lynn. That was very well explained. Uh, so, as Lynn mentioned, we discussed about the photosystem 1 and 2 and uh, also about the light dependent reactions we discussed still the light dependent reactions in the last lesson and we were about to start the calvin cycle right yes okay the second stage of photosynthesis it uses energy from the first stage to make sugars that is the energy molecules which were produced which are NADPH and ATP which are released during the first stage of photosynthesis they are used for the second stage of photosynthesis okay uh, the light independent reactions uh, did we do we didn't start the Calvin cycle at all right you only told us an introduction all right great Thank you so much. So the light independent reaction, they occur in the stroma and they use the carbon dioxide molecules. The second stage of photosynthesis, it is the light independent reactions, which we know already that they don't need the sunlight at all. This stage also happens in the chloroplast, but in stroma, but not in the grana or the phallocoids. This stage is light independent because it does not need sunlight. It does not need any sunlight for this stage to take place. And these reactions, they use energy from ATP and NADPH to run the chemical reactions that make up the Calvin's cycle. 
okay so the in the second stage of photosynthesis it is named as the calvin cycle the chemical reactions of the calvin cycle they use carbon dioxide and energy from atp and nadph in order to make what is made in the second set of reactions glucose glucose or the sugars are made in the second stage so how they are made let's check out a molecule of glucose as it stores some of the energy captured from sunlight so let's talk about the four uh, the reactions which take place in four steps in the calvin cycle so the calvin cycle it cannot take place without the atp and nadph from the light dependent reactions the chemical reactions of the calvin cycle they use carbon dioxide gas from the atmosphere and the energy carried by atp and nadph in order to make simple sugars or glucose because the light independent reactions they build the sugar molecules they are the synthesis part of the photosynthesis so only one molecule of carbon dioxide is actually added uh, uh, to the calvin cycle at a time okay so in step 1 the carbon dioxide is added we have it step wise here okay out okay okay so you have it on your page number 105 we don't have it step wise in the presentation so you may follow it step 1 is carbon dioxide is added carbon dioxide molecules are added to five carbon molecules already in the carbon cycle okay so do you see the five carbon molecules here in the carbon cycle where do you see them can you show me or uh, can you tell me at least from here We are seeing carbon dioxide molecules are added. You can see this is how it is added. Okay, to the five carbon molecules already in the Calvin cycle. So six carbon dioxide molecules are formed. Like this, this is step one over here, where in the six carbon dioxide molecules are formed. Five are already present in the Calvin cycle. Uh, so a total of six carbon or carbon dioxide molecules are formed okay then moving on to step 2 step 2 is three carbon molecules are formed you can see this is the step 2 here where you can see the three carbon molecules so energy atp and nadph from the light dependent reactions is used by the enzymes you can see so you may see it starts the step one from here over here the carbon dioxide molecules are added and now we have six carbon dioxide as you can see on the screen and then the energy from the atp and nadph it is used okay it is used by the enzymes to split the six carbon molecules these six carbon molecules are split and three carbon molecules are formed and rearranged okay uh, so these six carbon molecules they have been split by the energy which was uh, used from the nadph and the adp as you can see over here and these six have been split and rearranged as three carbon molecules in step 2 now in step 3 three, three carbon molecules exist Okay, what does that mean? So most of the three carbon molecules stay in the Calvin cycle, but one high-energy three-carbon molecule leaves the cycle. Here, this is step three. Okay, after two three-carbon molecules have left have left the cycle, they are bonded together to build a six-carbon sugar molecule such as glucose. Uh, so you can see uh, over here the six carbon molecules have been split and rearranged as three in step two. Okay, so in step three, what happened? The three carbon molecules they stay in the Calvin cycle, but the other three carbon molecules, uh, or you can say the one high energy three carbon molecule, it leaves the cycle. and after two three carbon molecules have left if two sets of such three carbon molecules have left they come together to form a sugar molecule as glucose uh, did you watch the video which i sent on the group yesterday yes. girls yes yeah did you understand the calvin cycle from that video yes okay okay great
so the for the ones for whom it is still confusing i want all of you yeah can you add shock for her sure is it s h o u q yes okay i added her so it makes you easy to understand the calvin cycle so whenever i'm sending a video please watch it and count okay so this is what happens in the third step here the first step is three carbon molecules recycled this is the fourth step over here okay so this is the last step which takes place so fourth step is energy from atp molecules is used to change the three carbon molecules back into five carbon molecules so these three they are converted back into a five carbon molecule set okay and the five carbon molecules they stay in the calvin cycle and these molecules are added to the new carbon dioxide molecules that enter the cycle okay so this is the cycle which takes place uh, obviously again and again so these five carbon molecules are they again they become uh, they are uh, uh, in the step one of the calvin cycle again where in the carbon dioxide molecule is added they become a six and again six is split by the energy released by the light dependent reactions in the three uh, of the carbon molecules are rearranged here and one of them is released when two sets of uh, three carbon molecules leave the cycle after two three carbon molecules have left they are bonded together to build a six carbon sugar molecule like this which is known as the glucose okay so if you see the structure of a glucose molecule it is a six carbon sugar c6 h12o6 okay so this is how the glucose is made at the end of the glucose is produced or made at the end of the light independent reactions okay so you can divide this calvin cycle into four steps so that it is easy for you to remember so what happens in step 1 girls the carbon dioxide is added to the cycle very good the carbon dioxide is added then what happens to this five carbon molecule over here it turns to a Six carbon, six carbon molecule. Then what happens in step two? The six carbon molecules split into three carbon molecules. Right. By by using up the energy from ATP and NADPH, the six carbon molecule is split into three carbon molecule. It is rearranged and formed in step two. Now what happens in step three? The high energy three um, carbon molecules. They what, two of them. leave the cycle and they combine to form glucose very good when two of these three carbon molecules they have left the cycle then they combine together to form a six carbon sugar which is a glucose molecule then what happens in step 4 uh, the rest of the three carbon molecules are recycled forming the five carbon molecules right so these three they again uh, form the five carbon molecule which is ready for the beginning of the calvin cycle again okay so these molecules are added to new carbon dioxide molecules and then they enter the cycle so uh, you can see the release of energy over here once the six carbon molecule is split you can see how the energy from atp and nadph is used so once the energy is used from atp what does it turn into adp adp and once the energy is used from nadph it turns to nadp NADP great then what happens again after the fourth step after the step 4 why do you see here again the energy molecules well they return to the uh, the light dependent reactions and turn into ATP and NADPH very good from here again they return to the light dependent reactions wherein they uh, receive the energy and the ADP is converted back to ATP Okay so this is how the sequence of the light dependent reactions is continued by the light independent reactions now if i'm asking you what happens during the light dependent reactions what is produced or what is uh, uh, captured what can we say what is the end result of the light dependent reactions from um, atp and nadph very good so we can say the energy is produced by the end of the light dependent reactions which is atp and nadph and what is produced at the end of the light independent reactions glucose 
glucose or the sugar. So girls, is it clear? Do you have any doubts so far? No, thank you. Any questions? Is it clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, a quick question again. Why must the Calvin cycle occur more than once to build a sugar molecule? Because only one carbon molecule enters the Calvin cycle at a time. So it needs yes. to be more than one has to enter to complete it. Very good. So all we discussed at the beginning of the cycle that only one molecule of carbon dioxide is usually added to the Calvin cycle at a time. So it needs to happen again and again till we have the uh, three uh, 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 set of three carbon molecules together. Okay. So uh, only one carbon dioxide molecule, so just one carbon dioxide is added to the Calvin cycle with each turn. So that is why it needs to happen in. Uh, more than one time. Okay, and we have uh, one interesting information about this Calvin cycle is that Rubisco, which is an enzyme that sets up the Calvin cycle, is thought to be the most abundant protein on Earth. So this protein Rubisco, what does it do? Uh, it is an uh, enzyme, obviously enzymes are proteins, that sets up the Calvin cycle, the second part of the uh, photosynthesis. So it has been estimated that there are pounds of Rubisco for every human on Earth. So Rubisco is very slow and inefficient. It catalyzes between two and eight molecules of carbon dioxide per second compared to thousands per second for most enzymes. So this is about this enzyme Rubisco, which helps in the uh, in, uh, in uh, carrying out this Calvin cycle. Okay, so if we want to summarize the uh, summary of the light independent reactions, let me go through it quickly. Carbon dioxide, it enters the Calvin cycle. Then ATP and NADPH from the light dependent reaction, they transfer energy to the Calvin cycle and keep the cycle going. Then one high energy three carbon molecule is made for every three molecules of carbon dioxide that enter the cycle. For every three molecules entered, one high energy three carbon molecule like this, high energy three carbon molecule is made. Then two high energy three carbon molecules are bonded together to make a sugar or a glucose molecule. Therefore, therefore six molecules of carbon dioxide must be added to the Calvin cycle to make one six carbon sugar. The products are a six carbon sugar such as glucose, NADP, and ADP. So the NADP and ADP molecules, they return to the light dependent reactions again. Okay, now what are the functions of photosynthesis? We already know the, photo, the help of photosynthesis, the plants, they make their food and oxygen, which is released as the byproduct or the end product, it is used by the humans and the other animals. So uh, apart from that, photosynthesis is much more than just a biochemical process. Photosynthesis is important to most organisms as on Earth, as well as to Earth's environment. Recall the plants produce food for themselves and for other organisms through photosynthesis. Both plant cells and animal cells, they release the energy stored in the sugars through cellular respiration. Like uh, energy is released whenever we respire from the food we eat. Likewise, this energy is also released in the plants. So cellular respiration, which uses the oxygen that is a waste product of photosynthesis, is the process that make most of the ATP used by the plant and the animal cells. So we need oxygen in order to produce energy in our body by the process of cellular respiration. Similarly, even in the plants, they need energy and it is done by the same process of cellular respiration. Photosynthesis, it does more than make sugars. It also provides materials for plant growth and development. The simple sugars from photosynthesis are bonded together to form complex carbohydrates such as starch and cellulose. Uh, starch uh, stores sugars until they are needed for energy and cellulose is major part of the plant structure. So this food which is made the glucose it is not only really used by the body for the plant fun functions but the glucose is also used in order to make starch and cellulose in the plant. How is starch used in the plant? It is stored for the future whenever the plants need air energy the starch is stored. Okay, so starches, they store sugars until they are needed for energy. And we know the cellulose, it is the complex. 
Now, photosynthesis also helps to regulate Earth's environment. The carbon atoms used to make sugar molecules, they come from the carbon dioxide gas in the air. So, photosynthesis removes carbon dioxide from the Earth's atmosphere. No, no, thank you so much, Kenya. This is what happens as we just now discussed in the Calvin cycle. Uh, the carbon dioxide is added to five carbon molecule in the cycle, then energy from ADP and NADPH is used. And in a series of chemical reactions that build a three carbon molecule, which is needed to form a six carbon sugar. So this is about the topic 4.3. If you have any questions, you can ask me girls, is it clear? For yes. all of them? Yes. Any doubts? No. Okay. No. So, okay, so shall we solve the worksheet then? Okay, so take out the worksheet. Which worksheet number is this? Yeah. It is worksheet nine. Yeah, on photosynthesis in detail. It is uploaded on teams under week five. So quickly open the worksheet. Let's solve it. Question number one. The function of light dependent reactions is to dash and dash energy. So what is happening to the energy here? Capture and transfer energy. Very good. So the light dependent reactions, what do they do? They capture the energy, obviously, from the sunlight and they transfer energy. Where are they transferring this energy to? To the light independent. Right. The energy is being transferred to the light independent reactions in the form of ATP and NADPH. So please write down the answers as capture and transfer. Okay, number two. Layan, can you please answer this question? Photosystems are groups of dash that capture and transfer energy. What are they? Are groups of molecules. Very good. The photosystem is name given to the groups of molecules that capture the and transfer the energy. So how many photosystems did we discuss under this topic? Two. Yeah, photosystem one and photosystem two. Ahad, Ahad Abdul Karim, can you please answer question number three? The two molecules that carry energy to the light independent reactions are dash and dash. What are they? Ahad? Ahad, can you hear me? You can also answer in the chat box if your mic is not working. Uh, Shok answered, okay, Shok Abdullah says, I couldn't watch the video yesterday. Why, my dear? Please try to watch it after going home if you have any further doubts about the topic, okay? Uh, what about ahead? Okay, Lean and Lana. Lana, can you please answer this question? Fair enough, whoever wants to answer, please raise your hands. Yeah, Lana, go ahead. ATP and NADPH. Great. They are ATP and NADPH. Uh, moving on to question number four. Using the diagram on the next page, put each letter from the statements below into a box to show the seven steps of the light dependent reactions. So the light dependent reactions have been summarized here into seven steps. We need to put them in these boxes according to the order like this. Okay. So I want you to answer the question one by one. Uh, Lean and Layan are already raising their hands. I want someone else to answer these questions. Uh, can someone else uh, volunteer who wants to answer this question uh, number starting with uh, the first step? Areej, Areej Adil, can you please answer? Which step comes first here? Which step, come, uh, which step comes first? Is it A, B, C, D, E, F, or G? Let me show you the steps again. Okay. So in this box, which step comes first? No response even from Areej. Balkis, Balkis, please go ahead, yeah. Um, is it B? Excellent. It is B. Read out the step. 
Read it out. Um, chlorophyll in the thylakoid membrane absorbs energy from sunlight and energizes uh, energized electrons enter the electron transport chain. Perfect. Now this is step one. Uh, then after that, which is the next step? Who's going to answer? Please raise your hands. I had raised and quickly she put her hand down. Anybody else apart from Lean and Layan? All of you need to participate. Girls. Nada. Nada, go ahead. Good step comes next. G, water molecules are broken down. Oxygen is released as waste and electrons enter uh, phi 2. Enter the chlorophyll. Excellent, Nata. So this is step 2. So after B, it is G. Very good. Then what happens in step 3? Uh, Lana Musa also answered someone else apart from Lana Musa, Layan and Lee. Please raise your hands. Who wants to answer? What happens in the next step? No one? Okay, Lean, go ahead. Well, okay, the next one is D, which is energy from electrons in the transport chain is used to pump hydrogen ions across the thylakoid membrane. So the next step is D, wherein the energy from electrons in transport chain is used to pump hydrogen ions across the thylakoid membrane. Very good. Step. Uh, the next step, Leon, go ahead. If more energy is absorbed and transferred to electrons. Very good. Then it is the next step is F. Very good. Lana, go ahead. The next step. Um, C. Ener energized electrons leave the electron electrons transport chains and are used to produce NADPH. Excellent, Lana. Thank you so much. Uh, anybody else who wants to answer the rest the next steps? Yeah. Ilaf, Dania, Dahlia, Faduma, Hazel, Habiba, Halima. Go ahead, all of you need to participate. Who wants to answer the next step? Okay, uh, Lean, go ahead. What comes after C? Um, e, hydrogen ions flow through a channel coupled at two um, ATP things. Perfect, it is E after that. And what is the last step, Layan? A. A. ATB sometimes produce ATB. Very good. So the last step is A. So this is the order in which the steps take place in the light in uh, dependent reactions. It is B, G, D, F, C, E, A. So this is the order you need to follow. Uh, and you need to put the steps one by one to, in order to summarize the light dependent reactions. Perfect. Let's move on to question five. The Calvin cycle uses energy from light dependent reactions to convert dash into sugars. What is being converted? Carbon dioxide. Very good. The carbon dioxide, it is being converted into sugars. Number six, using the diagram on the next page, put the letter from each of the following statements into the appropriate box to show the four steps of the Calvin cycle. We again need to arrange these steps in an order as to how they happen in the Calvin cycle. So we go through the steps A, B, C, D, E over here and please tell me quickly as to which step comes first. B. Number one is here. Yeah. So which step from these comes first? B. Carbon B. dioxide. Very good. Very good. First it is B. The carbon dioxide is added to the Calvin cycle. Then step two? D. D. Excellent, Leon. Energy is used to split the carbon six, uh, six carbon molecules and three carbon molecules are formed and rearranged. Then what happens in step three? A. A. This is step three. A. This e, e. What is it? E. 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 Here, A. No, A is what? A is A. A is A. Why did they give it A here? I don't know. I really don't know. It should be one, two, three, four, and five, right? 
I really don't know. So over here with step comes after uh, step, step D, uh, after point D. So mm. over here is A, right? So what happens in A? The three carbon molecule ex, uh, exits the cycle and other three carbon molecules stay in the cycle. Then what happens in step four? E. E. Then over here it should be E, which is when two, three carbon molecules have left the cycle, they bond together to form a six carbon sugar. Then finally, step four is e. E. Okay, so these are the answers. Uh, let me figure out as to why they said A over here. Okay, never mind, because according to textbook, they have only the four steps, right? But he split it into five steps over here. Okay, so, uh, moving on to number seven, you need to circle the best phrase. The electron transport chain is a series of proteins or carbohydrates in the thylakoid membrane. Protein. Yes, it is a series of proteins in the thylakoid membrane along with energized electrons travel. Uh, the first part of an enzyme's name tells you about its function. So all enzymes end with the suffix ASE. Therefore, ATP synthase is an enzyme that synthesizes or synchronizes ATP. Synthesizes. Synthesizes. As the name suggests, the ATP synthase, it synthesizes ATP. The last one, the word cycle tells you that the chemical reactions of the Calvin cycle go from one to another with a beginning and an end or with no beginning or end. With no beginning or end. Yeah, why are we saying, saying with no beginning or end here? Because more than one carbon dioxide molecule has to enter. Right, so yeah, so it happens in many turns. That is why we are saying no beginning or end. That's it. Okay, we also have the answers at the end of the worksheet for the girls who wants to who want to check them out. I'm saving these. It will be saved even to the worksheet uploaded on Teams. Okay, so let's quickly also solve the MCQ worksheet for this uh, topic. Yeah, this is the MCQ worksheet. Let me make it big. Read out question number one and answer it. Leave. Um, which of the following takes place in the light dependent reactions of photosynthesis? Energy is captured. B. Very good. B is the answer. Energy is captured. Diane, read out second and answer it, please. Second one. Well, um, where do the hydrogen ions for the sense of the light independent reaction come from? Sunlight. We are talking about the hydrogen ions, Diane. Try again. Of course, we are talking about the light dependent reactions, but we are not talking about the energy which comes from the sunlight. We are talking about the hydrogen ions for the photosystems of the light dependent reactions. Where do the hydrogen ions come from, Layan? It's protein. Protein? Yeah, try to think and relate the question to the options given here and then answer it. Okay, take your time and think about it. You want to pass it? Pass the question to someone else? Lana Musa, go ahead. Water. Water. Why Lana Musa? Obviously, why? Who's going to answer this question? Lean, explain it. Um, because water consists of hydrogen and oxygen. It's basically H2O. So when water breaks down, it releases hydrogen and oxygen. Right, excellently. Lan, is it clear now? Because we're asking about the hydrogen ions. Obviously, hydrogen ions from where do where does the plant get? It gets from the water, right? Lan, is it clear? Yes. Okay, the answer to this question is D, water. Perfect. Lana, uh, uh, answer.
answer question number three. Which phrase best describes the electron transport chain in photosynthesis? Read out the app or options or just pick up uh, pick out an option and tell me. Mm -hmm. Is it a chain of photosynthetic proteins located in the stroma? Or is it a collection of enzymes used to make ADP? Or is it a series of proteins located in a thylakoid membrane or a group of enzymes that carries energy to the Calvin cycle? Who's going to answer? Yeah, go ahead, dear. Hey. A series of proteins located in the thylakoid membrane. Very good, Layan. The answer is C. A series of proteins located in the thylakoid membrane. Perfect. Layan, answer number four. Um, in the light dependent reaction to photosynthesis, carbon dioxide enters the Kelvin cycle and sugars are made. A. Perfect. A is the answer. Layan, answer number five. Layan or Lana? Go ahead, Dan. Um, C. The photosynthesis transfer energy to the Kelvin cycle through ATB and an ADBH. Very good. What is the relationship between photosystems and the Kelvin cycle? It is C. The photosystems they transfer energy to the Kelvin cycle through ATP and NADPH. Perfect. So these are the answers for this MCQ worksheet. We are done with this topic. No questions, right? Shall we move on to our uh, next topic? It's only no, two minutes. Or two minutes. To, yeah. Okay, we have only two minutes. Uh, okay. Uh, if you don't have uh, too much of load, then I will send you a video regarding the topic today on the group.